Hey love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning sub, my grown extended beautiful family. As always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. Sorry about that, y'all. I had a burp coming up. <laughs> And if you have uh, been watching my videos for a while and have not already, drop a line. I would love the chance to get a chance to know you as much as you're getting to know me. And with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you feel like you can vibe with this video, it's greatly appreciated. Please go share. You know, if it uplifts you and gives you that good vibration of insight, please go ahead and do the same. It can take my even that way as much as you are or even further. Um, and the video is called Twin Flame 101. You are becoming the person you needed. Or oh, hey, Okas, you are becoming the person you needed when you were stuck and confused. There's a lot of times that we go through things in life and sometimes if we're not exactly uh exactly in that moment where we thought we can be because sometimes when we're when we have our lives planned out it's not exactly where we want it to be at that time it can get very frustrating it can get very discouraging but it's just the way you can see it and this is how i always had to tell myself when i felt discouraged you are becoming that person or you are at that person that you needed at that time when you were lost you know um when i was going through a lot of different things i used to beat myself up it's like why didn't you do this or why didn't you say that or you should have said this you know and you get like that and they're like don't do that you know don't do that everything that you're going through has taught you you know that growth that uh inspiration that uplift that healing that res revelation that you truly needed at that moment in time everything that you're going through they're always telling you to never see it as negative or a positive this is just a life experience you need to learn you need to grow this is strengthening you showing you your light showing you your power showing you where you can be at at this point what not to do what to do you know because there'll be different times like especially if you are that type of person and been in a lot of um uh, uh, abusive and toxic relationships of all kinds it doesn't really specifically um, it, it doesn't mean a certain one like a physical sexual you know not like that but it's just all the ones that were toxic you know and there's sometimes it's like I've been in that frustration it's like man if I knew then what I knew now I remember this date this date this date and I seen that person I would have strike curved it and yeet the other way but then it was just like if I didn't meet that person, even if you ever seen that, then I know a lot of times when I'll say something, I'll see a post and it can remind me where it's like you need to say it and you didn't need to say it or whatever, where never regret the pain that somebody brought you into your life because it erases all the wisdom that you got from that situation. Yes, it can hurt. There's situations um, that has happened in my life I never thought I would overcome. There will be things that I would never thought I would be able to forgive people. But then it was just like not saying it, um, not seeing that person as a narrative, but seeing there was a place in your life where this kind of moment can't continue to happen, you know, because it's like with my in my lifeline, we, we've had a lot of uh, toxicity. We've had a lot of, uh, you know, brokenness in the homes, you know, all those different things. And it's just like for you to be able to allow yourself to step free of that 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 reoccurrence of the constant things that went towards your generation you're gonna have to get towards that line of truth and that lesson you know it just reminds me of stuff that i used to watch when i was a, a little girl like um what was it like uh dog what was it pound puppies i used to love that show when i was little pound puppies rainbow brights uh what was it uh strawberry shortcake or fat albert and some of those one even punky brewster when i used to watch that it always had that life lesson at the end on certain ones that you watch it's like the lesson of this this segment was for this and that's what you're going through on that and it's always telling you you know don't even if you're not exactly where you want to be at right now doesn't mean that you don't have that that wisdom or that possibility to make that happen and a lot of times you may have envisioned this person you could be and just because of the fact is you're exploring things you're actually going above and beyond than you expected you can create a person you never knew you could be 
And that's the reason why, you know, that you go through things the way you do. And a lot of times you hit struggle and you hit struggle deep. And there's a lot of times it can be very hard on what you're going through. Because there's sometimes you face things, you go through things. You you know, and it, it, it can really hit you hard that many people don't understand. And some people are like, oh, I know what I went through. And, you know, I went through the same thing and it didn't bother me. Not everybody goes through the same thing the same way. And there's a lot of times you don't speak on the things that you have gone through with other things. And there's some times that you are admired for the things that you have spoke up on. And you're like an ambassador for that. Like saying, I went through this and I know what it felt. And I want to make sure I help anybody that has gone through that. That's why I love my purpose because it, it's just I'm learning more about myself every day. I'm healing myself. I'm becoming a better person through all the stuff that I go through. There are some times I have to maybe go through re reoccurring. You know, I got to go through a, a repetitive sequence for me to understand what was my lesson of that. You know, what was my, my um, the inside of that lesson of that, that 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 show episode or whatever it is and you're going through those things and a lot of times it's like why do I have to go through this because you are that one that was chosen to change the name of the change the rules toward the, towards the game you're that game changer that you are becoming you are becoming that person that you needed it's just like when you um Oh God, this has got me in my emotions because it's so beautiful. But uh, when you you know that time where you were lost and scared, and it may have been when you were a child, you know, and it's like a lot of things where you're healing that part of you that you know it, it's like everywhere you turn, it was like a monster coming out of your closet, and you you were scared because nobody couldn't understand you. You're able to feel things and see things that other people couldn't, you know. And then you, you see that one person that shelter you from that. You know, that was your superhero. And that person that tells you, you know, you're going to go through a lot of things you may not understand. Or you're going to face a lot of things that, you know, you may be scared to face. But I'm telling you, you know, you're going to get through that. And, you know, and, and it, it will be something that it is going to change a whole new di dynamic of how you look at life, how you go about life. You may not understand it now, but you're going to understand it later. And it may be something that it, it could have been like, oh, okay. And then you're going to get to that point in your life. And as soon as I said, I got chills and I'm trying not to cry, but you're going to look at that point in your life and say, I'm becoming that person that I needed at that time when I was scared when I went through that abuse, when I went through that sadness, I'm becoming that person I needed to be that person that can protect little Roslins that are coming up in the future to say you can become a you can become anything you want. You know, you don't have to just because you went through that doesn't mean it has to stay that way. You know, you can make a choice to either continue to let that go on or you can make a better choice for your life to be able to come something better. But you're going to use exactly what you went through to change that. And that's why a lot of times we go through things and we try to understand why universe makes us go through things so harshly. Or why does it feel like nobody truly understands us? Why does it feel like that people go out their way to constantly hurt us when, when we're all we are is wanting love? You, when you needed support, all you got was distance. When you needed love, all you, all you experienced was hate. And then it's just like you're becoming, even when people don't love you, you're starting to love yourself more of where that lack of love from other people are not coming from. You know, when there's people that didn't believe in you, you're becoming that person that believes in yourself even when other people can't. You know, and that's a lot of times why you have to go through the things that you're going through. So when we're facing these things, you know, you, 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 you know, there's times where you sit there and you're just crying or you're angry or you're frustrated because you really don't want to be in that situation no more. And it's going to come to that self or your higher self is coming to you. Okay, you're tired of doing this. Then what are you going to do differently? You're tired of going through this. What are you going to change? Because there's certain things that you're not seeing. There's certain things you're not understanding. There's certain things you're not forgiving. You're not allowing yourself to learn because they're so focused on what has happened. Instead of what can you create that can be. And then it'll be at that point. You know, that's where that new path will come in. Because that change of what you change focused on. That's what's leading you towards a different path. 
what you are allowing yourself to be like yes I went through this yes they did this yes I did that but now I allowed myself to learn and grow from that you know just because this person or these type of people said my life was that way does it mean it has to stay this way or is this my definition of my life just because that's their definition of my life will usually be the projection of how they feel about their life I created something different and I'm, I'm appreciating what I went through you know there will be moments that you'll see the things that you have gone through and you will have a whole new vibration that anger that sadness that defeat will come through as power as appreciation of gratitude a blessing in the skies and a lot of times we'll side eye God and you know really be just really telling him where he can stick it at when he makes us go through that and he's like one day you're going to understand why I put you through what I put you through you know and there's a lot of times where they say God has to be cruel to be kind and ooh, there'll be times that you go through a lot of different things in your life that it can really truly crush you really truly crush you and it will feel like you are the only one in the world that loves you for who you are but then it's just like you dust off your knees where you fell at you tape up you know put band-aids on the boo-boos and you dust yourself off and then you look at it and just like I finally get what he was talking about you know I finally see where that love was to that coolest moment of my life. I see how he was really ridiculed. I see how he was stoned. You know, I see how he was hated. And, you know, he still made selfless choices to give his love to us that we didn't appreciate until it got to that point where we started appreciating ourselves. And you're becoming that person that you never knew you could be. You're becoming that, you know, and you're starting to see it, even though if you're not exactly at that that pit, you know, that, that right exactly where you want to be, you're envisioning that. And even if you are envisioning that, the way God's plan is, is so much more extraordinary than that. You're right at the tip of what he's seeing into you that he wanted you to see in yourself when you have gone through those things that you have gone through. And, you know, th those things haven't been easy. Those things haven't been easy. There'll be days that you, you can remember of what the worst was done to you. Or the harshness somebody has said to you. Or the hardest slap that you have gotten. You know, you know what kind of situations that you have gone through. And you had this purpose. And it's just like, you know, there's days that you have probably cried and say, I didn't ask for this. And he knows that you didn't ask for this, but you signed up for it. Because it's, it's like what we go through, it can't keep continuing. You know, it has to get better. We have to love each other. We have to be able to say we all can win. We all can make it. You know, I'm not the only one that deserves to be happy. I want to see you happy too. I want you to know that, you know, you can right your wrongs, even if you feel like, somebody's life is more important to that life than that life you still have a a point in the world that you're making you know within your own life your destiny was chosen you know and it's just a lot of times when you see certain things and a lot of times we don't see it in the right ways because sometimes we're seeing it through envy but then there's days we're seeing it through admiration or we're seeing that through in inspiration or riveting or you know it's just like wow you know seeing this person go through so much it makes me think about my life in a totally different level and a lot of times that's the reason why it happens because of those moments you go through things that can really impact somebody's life that was so inspiring to you and inspire somebody else to be inspiring you know and I tell people that that is my quote that you never know you know, even those little steps of change can impact you in a major way, you know, down the road. You know, I and it's just a lot of things that that I know I've went through. There's a lot of people that has been connected to me here 
that I've uh, that knows what I went through. There's times that y'all cried with me. There's times I felt the spiritual hugs, the nudges, and it's just like I can even feel the energy and I hear the thank you. You know, for telling what you went through, what you have experienced, what you're, you know, how you changed, how you looked at things. And it, it's just like we've all gone through certain things in our lives that can be like, oh, wow. You know, and it's just like, hey, oh, because it, it's like, well, anybody, I don't want to just say, hey, oh, because it's just like people already sit up here and say we act like Billy Badasses. And, you know, we're all this and they're that way. But I'm just saying there's a lot of things that we have gone through in our lives that can be like you're clutching your pearls here. Like, that girl, I, man, look. You really went through that for real because there's a lot of times you just don't know God will give you this vibration to tell you he's going to rest you're going to go you're going through a major restoration to where when you finally step out and you tell your story from beginning to end to where you are at now nobody's going to believe you went through that just because you don't look like you've been through that and that's why they're showing the impossible is possible with you because you don't always have to look like what you went through you know, especially if you've gone through some stuff like, man, you're like, oh, you look good for your age. You know, like I tell people, I'm like, shoot, next few weeks, you know, a few weeks down the line, you know, next month, I'll be 45. And they were looking at me and I said, yeah, I said, you know, my oldest daughter's almost hitting 30. And I'd be like, uh, you know, got a granddaughter about to be five. And I'm just like, you know, I feel good. Even though I'm not exactly where I want to be at right now, I done came a mighty long way. I become that person and becoming more of that person I needed when I was lost, stuck, confused, just shook, bamboozled, led astray, you know, just stupefied, whatever, you know, and going through that because it's just like anybody that, you know, that I'm not no longer in contact with, you know, that I used to go to school with or I used to live in a different state with, they were like, girl, what happened? Life. Life. That's what happened. You know, you change so much, but it's your choice to either let the things that are out of your control that cannot be changed to eat you up, or you can allow that to inspire you to be something that you never imagined. And, you know, and that's what God's plan is for you. You, got, you are a part of God's plan. You are a part of that one that's leading a higher purpose to change the whole dynamic of what change truly needs to be. And a lot of times that it has to go through you facing some things that's hard for people to be able to understand. There's love in, in the pain that has been unleashed on you. There's forgiveness and unforgivable thing, unforgivable things that people have done to you. You placing love in people that even though you don't need them in your life, you can still place love and forgive them and wish them the best from a distance. You know, and you're showing that because there's so many people that move around in life, and even it was me too, that that wanted to see bad happen to people that did things to me, you know, and all those different things. But now it's just like I wish you the best. I, God bless you. It's like when you're doing that because what you're what you're placing on other people is what you want in return. You have to remember that. And I had to be able to, like, oh, you know, that's true. <laughs> you're like, don't want to wish nothing bad on nobody because you don't want that happen when you place it on somebody else. You placing it on you and that's just like I, I it don't matter you brought good things to my life even though if it meant for bad it was placed for bad it made good and that's why they always say god will allow certain things to take place in your life and it'll be used for your better good people don't know even the enemies is helping you become a better person and they always say that you know the bad people will always show you how to be a better person and you'll appreciate that it'll be a there'll be a moment in your life where you'll feel that you already probably feeling it now or you are feeling it and you're already way past that and if it is kudos for you <laughs> you know but anyways i hope you were able to resonate with the content of this video y'all it's been a while but you know hey i'm glad i'm back i'm glad and i'm ready to go um i would love to give a post notification shout out to annie i jessica walton much love to you hope all is well i ain't heard from you in a minute man sis uh uh chuck d love much love to you as well and um S. Harris, much love to you as well. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. It's so good to have you. Like I said, I always leave my contact information in the description box below, as well as my link to my podcast. Um, and it's just uh, just spiritual networking, being able to connect out. And y'all, I know there's a lot of y'all that have been texting me, emailing me, Roz, when you going to do chat again? I'm going to get it back up. I promise you. I'm trying to get back on track now. Give me a minute. Okay. I promise. I promise. I promise. So I'm be able to get that back. So um, 
you know, it's just all about networking and giving you a deeper understanding about your purpose. Whatever we speak on is confidential. I'll try my best to be able to help you if you feel generous enough. I also leave my cash app at the bottom as well. And um, I hope y'all have a blessed day. You know, um, be responsible at everything that you do. And be at peace when you're doing it. And try your best to because I know there's a lot of things. You're rocking the boat, baby. I already know. But anyway, you know, uh, whatever your manies are that you're trying to manifest into the life of your life, in the met uh, it, from the metaphysical to the physical, I know I put a lot of beautiful abundance into whatever it is is unimaginable. But whatever God is about to bless you with, it's going to be something you never expected. So keep going. Be consistent. Be persistent. If you got to take a pause for the cause, you do. But don't give up. Don't quit. Don't 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 sleep on your dreams, baby. That's why you your dreams has been a purpose to create your reality. And a lot of times it's not going to come in easy like that for you. But it's going to come in least expected. So keep on going. Be persistent. And, um, you know, even through social distancing, make sure y'all giving out love, like positivity, words, by frequencies. You never know. All those things that really take somebody a long way. And just because you took the time to do that for other people, it's going to take you even further. Much love. Peace.